Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tess Powtoon class. I'm very sure you understand a lot from the first group. They did an amazing job. Now I will explain some of the most important instruments, just to be sure that you understand a lot. Thank you so much. The first one is graduator cylinder. The most important here is that they are used to measure liquid volumes. And the second ones uh, we have barrets. They are graduated to tubular containers and they are used in operations that require high accuracy. And over there you see some pipettes. Yeah, there are two volumetric pipettes. But the most important here is that they are uh, those that have more and transfer specific volume of liquid. And the graduated pipette is used to meet a different volumes. I mean, it could be from one, two, or five millimeters. In this mesh equipment, we see balance, pH meter, and thermometer. On balance, we have the their depression instruments for weighting. Um, pH meter, uh, it is a device that measure, of course, the pH. And thermometer, it's they are used in distillation, gas low materials for separation, the funnels. It's simple because the filtration by gravity is real. It has many different uh, angles, they merge and more. And then we have the also filter the paper. It is used to cut in a circle whose diameter must be choosing such as that way. Separation equipment, the first one is drying equipment too. Of course, this is in the laboratory and the drying temperature can be controlled. And the centrifuge, I mean, in this situation, the speed is controlled in revolutions per minute. So the first phase, they are very difficult to filter. Mixing materials, most of you, you can identify all of them. We have the test tube, as you can see there. There are the common tubes of different diameters on them. And for the other hand, you have the graduate tube. They are also called the pneumatic tubes, and they are used to measure gases. So don't forget about it. So now we, we will... Over there you see the beaker. The beaker, as you see, uh, the most important here, it is used to receive the filter or prepared solutions. And also you see over there, yeah, you see there are bowls and there are glass containers to carry out various chemical reactions. So this is the most... The crucibles, it is used for heating at high temperatures such as drying or calcinating of substance. And we have the glegma and um, they are used to cover beakers about splashing and to evaporate small camps of liquid. So for the other hand, we can find the heating materials where we can find bands burner, electric oven, for uh, later, we have the support and support materials. Uh, we can find universal support clamps for crystal beaker tops, test tubes clamps, tray pops, and great. So uh, let's continue. Now, the conservation materials we can find the region bottles, the, wa the wash bottles, the dropper bottles, uh, materials for, sa for size reduction. Of course, we have the famous one, mortars. Uh, materials for various use uh, this battle has too so that's incredible so thank you so much for your participation in this class i'm very sure this uh, materials that we just learned here they will be very useful for us in order to understand more scientific articles or just increase our vocabulary and also identify most of them in some laboratories here in our country or so thank you goodbye Yeah.